I think if you look at the way that we've progressed, especially in, in cybersecurity, life has become very complex for a lot of CISOs and for a lot of people working in that environment because there's new tools. That every time an attacker discovers a new way of getting into your organization, we release another tool and it gets more and more complex. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's been the failure of, of um, cybersecurity. The more complex it's got, the bigger the holes that we create for attackers to get in. What's great about DNS security is that we get right back to the fundamentals of a device. Hi everyone, welcome back to the GB Show. Today, we are going to talk about DNS security. DNS is backbone of your network and can be source of critical intelligence to provide you security, automation and more visibility in your infrastructure. To have discussion on this particular topic in depth, we have Paul Wilcox with us. He is having more than 30 years of experience and specialized in cloud, SaaS, cybersecurity, DevOps and DevSecOps. He is currently Vice President, Asia, Pacific and Japan with Infoblox. Let's hear him out. Hey both, welcome to the GB Show. Thanks, Karam. So my first question to start with, or maybe I would like to know why you have been advocating DNS security. Why sure. it is so important for the organizations today? I think if you look at the way that we've progressed, especially in, in cyber security, life has become very complex for a lot of CISOs and for a lot of people working in that environment because there's new tools. That every time an attacker discovers a new way of getting into your organization, we release another tool and it gets more and more complex. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's been the failure of, of um, cyber security. The more complex it's got, the bigger the holes that we create for attackers to get in. What's great about DNS security is that we get right back to the fundamentals of a device. So the very first thing a device does when it turns on is it will go to DNS to try and find a, uh, to go to a location or try and find a place on the internet. We're in a really strong position to simplify cyber security by stopping the attack right at that point. Mm -hmm. So that's where DNS security really is at its strength because it's simple and it's very early in the kill chain. And uh, most of the organization have DNS security in-house. Okay. So here I have two questions for you. One, uh, why in-house uh, security is mm -hmm. not sufficient? And uh, if I'm looking for a partner, why Infoblox and uh, how your journey has been Sure. Oh, info blocks, yeah. So, so um, the the reason why I, I think people need to do it themselves or do do it uh, with with a, a real DNS <laughs> security solution um, is is quite obvious when you think about it. If you look at an organisation, most of them today, if they're not using a solution like ours, are using uh, free mm. tools. Yeah. Um, the challenge is. This is one of the most important parts of the network. This is, if DNS fails, then the internet fails for you. Why people use a free tool, I still don't understand. They'll, they'll pay money to use a word processor from Microsoft, yeah. but they won't pay money to underpin their entire network. So it's really important to get something that's effective, is scalable, is simple to manage, but more importantly, is secure in and of itself. Mm -hmm. And that, that sort of brings us to that question my journey and, and why Infoblox. And, and for me, working in cybersecurity for as long as I have, it's now more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, it struck me, having sold a lot of tools in the past and a lot of the next great widget, it, it struck me that it was really important to do something that was going to be effective. Um, and Infoblox is one of those trade secrets, if you like. It, it, we've been around for a long, long time. We know DNS. And as a consequence of that, we see most of the world's internet traffic going mm -hmm. through our system. So we're in a very unique position to, to help people stop the damage that, that the internet can provide. Okay. And uh, when we talk about Infoblox, we talk about DNS, DHCP and IPM mm -hmm. integration, right? So why do you think that's important and how that will help any organization? Uh, it's important because whenever you've got a, a security operations center, Context matters. Um, there's, there's nothing worse, and this happens in most organizations where the SOC will get an alert, or mm. they'll get thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of alerts on a problem, 
And they don't know what is important and what's not. Yeah. So they can't triage very easily. When they get an alert and they're leveraging our kind of platform, then they know immediately who it is, where they are, you know, what geography they're in, uh, what operating system, what device. Everything comes to the analyst immediately. So if there is a, is a problem, the ability to get down to that mean time to remediation and bring that time down to almost nothing um, is really important. And that's what we give. When you bring all of that together, mm -hmm. you get the context that's very important for an analyst and, and saves them a lot of time and a lot of headache. And, and mostly when, you know, the organization or CISOs talk about it, so they go to the board and board says, last year you came and you asked for XTR, then yeah. you have SOC. You have many tools, you know, yeah. every time then you're putting DLP, then you are other cybersecurity tools. But then what this will, you know, bring a difference. Yeah. So is it a new layer of the tool or it is going to complement? Uh, it's certainly going to complement. Uh, and and I, I think if you look at organizations that have got firewalls and they've, uh, you know, all of that stuff that you mm. mentioned there, one of the things that we do very well is work with that ecosystem. Yeah. So, so it's not a get info blocks and throw everything out by any means. What it does is it leverages those tools a lot better. So, for example, if we see a threat, if we've got a challenge, then we can immediately tell the firewall to block that. Mm -hmm. um, if, if we see something that's happening on an endpoint, then we can immediately say that endpoint is doing something wrong. Let's, let's sort that out. So our integration with other technologies brings an efficiency and brings automation that, that you probably wouldn't get. And I think that makes a significant difference to an organization because it brings it together. If we think about devices, and, and unfortunately, you know, you know yourself in your, in your career, um, we think about endpoints, servers, network devices, and we think about that as the whole environment. Today, we've got mobile. We've got IoT devices in this room. There's you know, cameras and air conditioning systems yeah. that are connected to the internet. If you go into a hospital, there's a MRI machine or, or some machine that keeps people alive. It's connected to the internet, which is frightening. Hmm. All of those things use DNS. So we can protect all of those things without having all of these disparate systems to protect all the different bits. So those things really matter. And that's where we, we have a massive advantage over others. Okay, and, and will this help the traditional organization as well or the latest, you know, who are uh, new or doing the digital transformation and more of using this cloud and, you know, latest technologies? Yeah. <clears throat> really good question. And, and I think digital transformation is what's driving a lot of our success yeah. out there. Um, it, it's very important here in India, digital transformation is, is yeah. happening at a rapid rate, exactly. as, as you know. Um, people are moving to the cloud, they're moving to hybrid cloud or public cloud environments. And for some of them, it's frightening. Um, bringing all of that together is new and different. Um, for, for others, it's just complex. And they're trying to use the tools that they had on premise in the cloud, which doesn't necessarily work so well. So, so we allow people to make that transition. Uh, we don't care if they're in the cloud, if they're partially in the cloud, if they're public, private, or, or all on premise. We, we'll treat everybody the same way because we've got the technology to handle all of those yeah. environments. The next big challenge in cloud is multi-cloud. Yeah. And we see people that are in AWS and they've got Azure and they've got GCP and Alley Cloud and a whole lot of other things. The challenge that we've seen organizations face is that they'll go to AWS and they'll use AWS's DNS and, and IP address management service. And then they'll go to Google and they'll use GCP's version of that and the same with Azure. You can never bring all of that together. There's no one single interface. Mm. Fortunately, with us, you can either utilize InfoBlox to manage all of those different environments, or if you really must you know, continue with Microsoft um, DNS, then we can help you manage that as well. So, so we like to think of ourselves as, as an organization that brings all of those technologies together because if you've got two or three different clouds, oh, life is terrible. So <laughs> I, I can uh, vouch for this as I yeah. think uh, I, in my career, I've used Infoblox big time, yeah. Monolith uh, that time. But yeah, uh, specifically apart from my case study, maybe I would like you to share uh, any good case study where you know you support or help that uh, organization to achieve more security mm -hmm. and maybe any good case which you have. 
Um, there's, there's one in particular that, that, that sticks out in my mind. It's, it's one of my favorite stories where an organization, this, this organization was in the US, um, but they had a managed security provider looking after their, their infrastructure, their security infrastructure. And that security provider, I won't say their name, but they'd been doing it for five or six years. So they had a good understanding of the environment. Without telling that security, managed security provider what they were doing, they deployed Infoblox and they deployed our threat defense solution, which, which helps them sort of with DNS security. About a week after they deployed it, the managed security provider called them and said, um, you've got a problem. And they said, what's the problem? <laughs> Well, we've noticed that your malware rate on the firewalls has dropped by about 75%. So something's going wrong. Something's broken. <laughs> we're, we're not seeing it anymore. You need to fix it. Um, yeah. And they said, no, no, that's not the case. And they, they scrambled. And they realized that because they'd used our solution, mm. that all of that malware, like 75% of the malware that they were seeing in their environment stopped overnight, mm. um, which meant that the firewalls weren't working nearly anywhere near as hard as what they were before. Exactly. All of their other security infrastructure was sort of settled mm. um, and, and their SOC analysts weren't you know, in a frenzy. So it's really interesting to see that impact. That organization, uh, when they looked back a year after that moment, found that on average, there was about 85% of the malware that they were seeing on the internet, or on their network was actually taken away. Oh, um, it's so incredible. Yeah, man, maybe I think a lot of saving as well, the firewall bandwidth yeah. and everything. Uh, I think uh, great insights on DNS security and I think my audience would have loved this discussion. But I have a last segment where instead of talking to me, I will ask you to talk to my audience directly. Sure. So now if someone is watching here and he's looking forward or he's inspired now that I want to start my journey with mm -hmm. DNS security and with you, let's say. And then what are the best practices uh, he need to uh, consider and what are the challenges he may face which he you know, can tackle. I think it's important that you understand what part DNS plays in your environment. Discovery of, of artifacts, discovery of devices across your network is probably the very first thing that you should do. DNS plays a really critical part in that because as I said earlier, every device, whether it be a, a laptop, a server, a mobile phone, a, an IoT device or an OT device in your organization, Every single one of those devices leverages DNS. So discovery is a really important part of you understanding firstly what you have, so then you can build a framework around securing that. DNS will give you that opportunity. The value for you as a, as a CISO in an organization would be that you've already got people in your organization that understand and manage DNS. This is not a tool set that's going to be new or complex for a whole bunch of people. So you've already got 90% of the skill set there. Now all we're going to do is change the paradigm to make sure that they understand that this is a security function rather than infrastructure function. Uh, when we get there, then you're in a position to really start to lock down uh, everything that's happening in your environment. Um, and I'd certainly implore you to talk to us. We can help you through that process, take you through that journey and help you understand some of the pitfalls that, that come about by not leveraging DNS uh, as well as a lot of organizations do. Awesome, Paul. I think uh, the CISOs must get an insight, uh, great insights out of it. Uh, but uh, there are, you know, few people who are youngsters and they are pursuing their career in uh, engineering in computer network and something. And if they want, are looking for some career opportunities in DNS security, any advice you have for them, then please uh, tell them as well. So I, I think if you're looking to enter the world of, of cybersecurity and of, of DNS, it's really important to have a good understanding of the other areas of interest around that. So having a good understanding of networking, having a good understanding of security across the platforms uh, is a really important base for you to, to get things going. Beyond that, certification is, is obviously a really important part of it. So, so I would implore you to, to go to www.infoblox.com. We have educational services. We can give you formal certifications on that kind of technology. And that'll put you in a position to, to get a job uh, very, very quickly. We're lucky enough to be in an industry that's growing at a very rapid rate. Um, there are opportunities all the time. And I can tell you, as, as an employee of Infoblox, we're always looking for new people. So um, if you do go through that, if you do get that knowledge and skill set, 
give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. And, and if you wanted to do an internship or something similar, we'd be more than happy to encourage you to, to become part of the InfoBlox family. So for my uh, show, uh, thank you for being on the show. And uh, it's a small gift from uh, my side. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this session. I will see you next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.